in my life where I get that station. So I kind of just look and see what they're talking about. I just, uh, you know, don't know what to make of it. It seems like they might be talking about different things other than, than, uh, other than CNN and Fox talk about, but, um, you know, well, I mean, here's the thing about Al Jazeera. They're based in Qatar, so they're able to put out some truth, but it's connected to MI6. They've been caught trying to, you know, get behind the Arab Spring. It's, they're real trouble. Now, Al Gore, uh, w w by the way, took hundreds of millions in oil money uh, to, to sell uh, his little network that he never should have gotten before. You've got to prove enough ratings to even get a full-time cable channel or a satellite channel. And, and he didn't have that. It's a total fraud. Hmm. You know, I'll um, I'll flip through the channels CNN and Fox every now and then just to see what they're trying to tell us. But uh, you know, I'm always uh, you know, not really believing anything they say. I'm just kind of seeing what they're saying. And I guess I was just kind of doing the same with Al Jazeera, but you know, not really knowing what to well, make. Well, do you of like it. Al Jazeera? What do you think of it? Well, you know, I, I like having another source of news. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't trust everything that comes yeah, from Yeah, same it. thing with RT. You know, they'll report on the police state here, but not the police state in Russia. Uh, and, and they'll also, they're not too pro-gun and stuff. And it's just because they'll never get out from under their Soviet brainwashing. Uh, but uh, they're pro-state views. But it's still good to have some type of counterbalance. But how about we don't have RT or BBC? I mean, that they can still be there if folks want to watch them. How about we have thousands of independent media organizations giving analysis reporting regionally, internationally. That's what's beginning to happen. And as people fund the new media, we will displace the old media, and that's happening. So, And they're going to try to shut us down and censor us. It's not going to work. Good points. Good to hear from you, Mike. When we come back from break, I'm going to go to Brian, J.D., Paul, Chris, and then we got other callers. But I'm going to go to those first, then I'm going to get into some of that news uh, that I was just uh, mentioning that I haven't gotten to yet. Very, very, very important that we uh, cover some of that. I think we should call that first hour we put it up on PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, Piers Morgan caught naked. Or uh, Piers Morgan caught with his pants down. Or Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan and the Emperor's New Clothes. Or the Piers Morgan hoax implodes. That's probably it. Just the Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan hoax collapses. Just like the rest of it. It's a bellwether, a rat in the coal mine, little red-eyed... You know what, House Rat? A shill uh, who would come and snivel us into turning our guns in. Seeing why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the time against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. 
Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com You are listening to an InfoWars.com frontline report. It's Alex Jones. of the hour ladies and gentlemen we are going to be talking to one of the fox brothers who puts out a online animated comedy short that promotes the constitution called conrad the constitution it's been out for two years that we've featured some of the less racy ones uh here on air to mainstream standards none of them are racy but there's a little bit of potty humor in them uh obama seizes control of late night tv is one of the articles up on Infowars.com, but Don has his new article uh, up on the site uh, dealing with the fact that Obama assassination animated satire alerts Secret Service. And the Secret Service has been calling their family members and says they're coming to visit them uh, over the satire piece where Obama, who's trying to kill the Constitution, is killed by Conrad the Constitution during a dream, but he's really Abraham Lincoln. And it's obviously not a call to actually kill the president. Uh, and the Democrats made all sorts of videos about Bush being killed with films like The Death of a President in 2006 and nothing happened. They had comedians and video games. But we'll see what happens with this in the Secret Service. The video is up on Infowars.com, Season 2, Episode 8. And so, uh, by the way, I am featured in it as well. So I've now arrived being in a Conrad the Constitution piece. By the way, I watch stuff like this when I'm on a Discovery Channel or History Channel show. People go, oh, I saw you on Discovery and History Channel. And I go, really? I go, how was it? Because I don't watch it, even though they sent me disc of it. I just sat down for six episodes of History Channel because the show's not that bad and I can cover, you know, issues of the Illuminati and stuff from history without comp being compromised. They tape six episodes in one night uh, with me in different positions, different chairs, you know, different, different setups. Uh, sitting there talking, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bragging. It's just, I, I'm not really fascinated with hearing myself talk about stuff. I've said it. I know it. Here it is. I don't watch it. But I do go to DrudgeReport.com. I do go to WorldNetDaily.com. I do go to Conrad the Constitution. I do go listen to other talk show hosts. Uh, even though I, don't, I disagree with about 5% of what he says, I listen to Michael Savage when I'm out driving around at night or now in the afternoon if I'm doing chores. Uh, because, you know... I am into what's real and what's bona fide. I don't have to totally even agree with it. I, I, I just agree with what's independent and is promoting liberty in, in a basic fashion, going against the grain with the system. Now, I'm going to go back to your phone calls from folks talking about Piers Morgan. Uh, I told you, folks, his show was canceled the day he took it over. Two million viewers with Larry King. Within the first year, he was down to below a million. Three years later, folks, three years into this, he has a viewership of less than 400,000 on average. To quantify that, it's pathetic. We have that many listeners in about 20 minutes on this show. That's a very conservative number, by the way. We have over 600,000 people that download the podcast every day from the listen page that I don't even promote. We have 
360, 70 million views on one YouTube channel, all totaled about 550 million views on our YouTube channels. We have 3 million followers on our different, uh, or likers on our different Facebooks uh, that see our stuff every day. We have, I mean, it's just, it's un just the radio show terrestrially, 3 million a day. 3 million a day. And, but again, oh my gosh, Piers Morgan. People know who he is, though, because all the other shows play clips when he has a Charlie Sheen on or when he has an Obama on. But other than that, the show itself has almost no viewers. When I go on there and say, Red Coat, try to take our guns, it's going to be a new revolution, that aired on every channel. That was seen by hundreds of millions. But the show itself does not have a regular long-term audience. And it's unable to steer debate and to push topics out there. The New York Times editorial staff two months ago bemoaned in the news, you can pull this up, that they have no relevant effect anymore. In fact, I want to show people that. New York Times admits their editorial pages have no relevance. No relevance in the culture. 50 years ago, total relevance. Controlling the discourse. Not the New York Times. DrudgeReport.com now, like the New York Times could do 50 years ago, can take an interesting local news story, mainstream or alternative, Put it out there, and two days later, it's a national news story with every dinosaur parroting it or covering it. That's power. That is the, the fire of Prometheus, ladies and gentlemen. And we, to a certain extent now, are able to put stories out, even if Drudge doesn't carry them. They always hit big if Drudge carries them, and, and, and that's the real thrill, is seeing it defeat a gun legislation, defeat an open border legislation, defeat a provision of Obamacare because Drudge picks it up and carries it. Um, exposing them, uh, Copenhagen uh, and, the, and the climate change garbage. Yeah, there it is, MSM collapsing, New York Times now irrelevant according to its own writers. Opinion pieces have no impact on public discourse as status media sinks. That was from February 5th. In another example of how the mainstream media is in a state of collapse, the New York Times own writers told the newspaper that the New York Times opinion pieces are now seen as irrelevant and have no impact on public discourse whatsoever. And they told that, that in the New York Observer interview with more than two dozen current and former New York Times writers, virtually all of them were unanimous in acknowledging that the old gray lady is dead. Okay? Illegitimate doesn't matter. And I told Politico this when Rand Paul got elected. And I said, I only talk to you so I can tell you how pathetic you are. And I'm not on a power trip. Uh, I don't say you're pathetic. I'm great. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I mean, I tell national news now every week when they send us stuff wanting to come here. I tell them, even if you're a real writer, they're not going to let you publish it. Hey, that's happened a bunch. If it's not a hit piece, it's not going to be published. Only time that didn't happen was with Esquire. Because the guy had so much pull there. And he said, no, I think you're a good guy. So I wrote a good piece, and they put it in the back instead of the front. But, and, you know, I got in a little bit of trouble, but, you know, I got it out there. Everyone else, Wall Street Journal, L.A. Times, you name it, never comes out if they write a fair piece. They, they tell me, they go, my God, this never happened. You're right. They, they killed the piece. They said, you're too dangerous. They're not giving you attention. I don't need your attention, dinosaur. And I told, see, I live in the age of the mammals. I told Politico, I said, listen, you want to hurt Rand Paul endorsing. You want to hurt me, endorse me. But I said, you won't do that because you're still too arrogant thinking you run everything and you control everything. And they basically put that in the Politico article. And I'm glad they did because, listen, man, I've been threatened to be murdered by the system. I've had them call up and death threaten me and my family telling me what I talked about on the phone 10 minutes before. I know how evil this system is. I'm not naive. You think I care about status and being petted by you idiots? I've been doing this 19 years on air, being ridiculed and attacked. Do you think now, at our moment of victory, that I want to be brought in out of the dark to be with you? I don't want to be anywhere near you. Let me tell you, I put my pants on one leg at a time. I'm real. I've got integrity. And when I'm on this show being serious and focused, it's 100% what I believe and 100% what I stand for. And I tell you 100% unvarnished, as best a research as I have what I believe is going on. All of us see through rose-colored darklies. What the mainstream media is starting to do is taking me as Cobra Commander or the Joker or as the devil when I do these satire pieces every few months. 
and editing them together saying he's an actor, he's fake, look, he's crazy. People see through that. I like to go and do satire pieces, and I'm going to continue to do satire pieces. And you can sit there and try to say, I'm a crazy person all day. People know the difference between Alex Jones, 100% real right now,